So here we are, back on the trail, day two. Just got here, my wife and son have just dropped me off. Said a little bit of a goodbye. As you can see on my back now, I've got my, uh, my main walking pack. It's pretty heavy. It's like 14 kilos. So it's gonna be a challenge. Quite windy today as well. Um, and we're starting with a hill. Let's see how we do. There's the climb we just started with. I'm a bit out of breath. And that's where we're going. Nearly at the top. So that's the first little section done. You can see back there. I guess I've done just about a hundred meter climb, something like that. That's a pretty tough way to start the day. But I'm pretty warmed up now, which is good. All right, okay, we've got more signage here. There we go, and we're gonna head off this way. just walking down the next section and I come across this which is a vineyard in finest East Yorkshire. Check it out. Just come down a little path just down out of the wind now and we're gonna head down into this little valley hopefully and just run along the bottom of that. Looks like we've got another climb on the other side there. So we've just come up through this beautiful bit of pine wood up here. And now we're gonna go right down here. Just following the valley around. It's really, really peaceful, really nice. Saw another couple of people in the little dale before we got here out walking a dog. Um, but they're literally the only people I've seen so far this morning. It's been really quiet. Loads of birds, some chaffinches. Uh, what else have I seen? A wren. Um, a bunch of other kind of stuff that I didn't really see but heard. But yeah, it's been uh, really nice so far. This little wooded valley is really, really pretty with the sun coming down through the trees and then all the yellow flowers on the hills here. I'm not quite sure what they are. I haven't got my glasses on. So they might be kind of little daffodil type things or they might be cowslips, I'm not sure. to come and see what those yellow flowers are. There's these little chaps. I think they're cowslips, but I'm not sure. If you know, stick it in the comments. Just come up this really gradual climb and it's going to get a little bit steeper just going ahead. Man, that time with climb was tough. I can't even do English anymore. Can you see it behind me? 
That was pretty fun. Pretty full on. I'm near the top now though. Look. Whew. Pretty peeped. Okay. I have no idea if you can hear me. But that's how far it is. going pretty well this morning. I've just uh, come down this little valley here, this little wold, and this is the way we're going, just down there. Um, it's been going okay. Some pretty tough bits, some tough climbs today, um, but all of it has been really nice, really like pretty. Um, the weather's been really good to me as well. It's quite warm. It's windy, really windy. Sorry, I just realized I was probably covering up the microphone. Yeah, it's been really windy. Um, so it's kind of cold on the on the tops of the hills and stuff. Uh, but down here, out of the wind, it's not too bad at all. Um, we're about halfway through today's walk, I think, now. Um, already, making really good time. Um, so yeah, I'll check in with you later. So just a little update on my footwear, you'll have noticed they've changed from the ones I was wearing on Saturday when I was wearing my walking boots. And I think I said a couple of times I was getting hot spots on my toes. Well, I got back and uh, I had a couple of gigantic blisters on each of my little toes. Um, so I've switched to these trainers. These are really, really comfortable trainers. I walked miles and miles in these in Greece in like really hot weather um, and never had an issue with blisters so I'm hoping that these are gonna be okay fingers crossed down there and we're gonna go that way there so up along this road and I think we'll take that so we've reached the side place of Goodmanham which is where we're going to today um, just on this road here Just stopping for lunch now. Got a pretty nice view. Ah, just put some water in the oil. I got some baby bell cheese, couscous, and some soup. And I'm kind of going to stir in with the couscous just to uh, make it a bit more flavoursome. Um, I'm pretty hungry. Been going for about I don't know, what time is it? Let me see. Three hours or so now. I think we're nearly done, actually. Today, maybe another hour. Something like that today. Uh, I'm pretty tired. My feet are doing alright today. Uh, the sole of my right foot is quite stiff, but it's okay. And it's clouded over a lot um, in the last kind of half an hour. I'm really hoping it's not going to rain, or at least hold off until I get there. Just met a nice chap 
uh, out walking his dog. He was saying this bit is literally the only bit around here you've got any shelter from the wind. Um, so he said if you take your dog anywhere else you just get absolutely frozen because of the wind because it blows across these tops. And I can well believe it, it's, uh, it's pretty chilly. But we're heading down um, this pathway now, I'll show you. Here we go, look. And uh, I think we're about still three miles or so from Goodmanham, which is where we're going to camp tonight. Um, and I think there's also a pub in the village. So I might have to go down there and uh, maybe sample some of the beers. We'll see. Just found another mile marker. We're getting closer. Okay, so we're out of the uh, green tunnel for a bit. Just walking along this uh, tiny little road. Uh, I think we've got about two and a half miles left to do. Something like that. So, just found another signpost and it's about two and three quarter miles to good Manhattan that way. Um, guessing I'll be about another hour. through a farm. You can probably hear the dogs. And we're heading down this way. Uh, we're just coming down the hill now um, into where I think Goodman Hill is going to be. I think we're maybe a mile away, something like that. Not far. So hopefully, uh, yeah. Well, I took my first wrong turn and I've ended up coming down this old disused railway track. Um, it's quite a nice trail, a lot of people on it. Um, but it does mean that I'm going to be able to, I'm going to be doing about another mile, mile and a half on top of what I'm already doing today. So, not the best, but there we go. little stream just running along beside the, um, the old railway line. It's really pretty. Here we are just coming into Goodmanham now. If that's how you pronounce it, probably isn't. Probably something like Goodham or something like that.
Well, there we go. That's going to be home for tonight. And this is where I'm staying. Bit of a lumpy field. Oh, what a cracking view. And now, I am off to go and find the pub. Well, that's me done. Done at the pub. Met a couple of chaps called Tony and Dan. Sat and ate tea with them. It's passing a really nice church, look. It's really nice. I just realised I've caught the sun really badly. Oh well. Um, yeah, really nice chaps. One was an actor. Uh, the other guy, he was from Palestine. Um, he was a little bit evasive about what he does, but he was a nice guy. So I'm now going to walk back up, um, have a shower, and maybe get into my sleeping bag. I've had a couple of pints. I feel quite sleepy. I'll see you again tomorrow.